Hello, teacher. Hi, Leah. How are you? We have Gabby. I'm fine. Oh, my God, Edwin. How, how are you, sir? Are you, how are you, teacher? I'm, I'm fine. Are you still sick? sick? I just a little bit. A little bit. I feel a little bit better today. Oh, okay. What? You sound yes. better. <laughs> Thank you. But well, I feel something right here. That it, it hurts a lot. Uh, actually, I just, I just think uh, I was drank, drunk at a tea a couple minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, you drank tea? Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, with honey. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know who uh, recommended me that, but actually, this. this I think Leah is, did. Leah, oh, Ooh. thank you, Leah. Congratulations. Thank you, mm -hmm. and it really helps me a lot. Thank you. Yes, it's true. <laughs> okay. Um, it's it, it, it helps you to sleep, too. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, that was good. All right, okay. I see Gabriela, I see Sofia, hello, Blanca, Marlon, Samuel, and Luis Molina, always in the bunker. Hey. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Good evening. Everybody. Are you guys okay? Is it raining by your house? It, it's a raining near your house. Uh, no. No. No, it's not raining anymore. Okay. And his mom is stopping. My house too. Over here, my house is kind of. Yeah, but it rained all day today, though. Okay. Yeah, it rained the whole day, but right now it it stopped for for a little bit. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, I was reading the news, and uh, the worst is over. So. Thanks, God, for that. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was doing that. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I was reading that, and, and I think it's going to Guatemala now. And, and do you hear about there is another uh, hurricane? Is hurricane. Coming? Hurricane, there is coming? I, I saw that it's coming to Honduras, though, right? Oh, you could imagine uh, the three hurricanes. In in two weeks, it's really bad. Never happens. Like I don't know, it's really amazing to happen that. Yes. Yes, it's true. Okay, I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, I was I I was reading that. Um, the majority of the hurricanes they um, start because of the of the Sahara, Sahara Desert. Did you know that? Because oh. in that in that part is so so hot, and then there's a place there's a point that when the hot meets the cold yeah. in the ocean, and um, and all that comes through the Atlantic. That's why, that's why Miami will forever have tornadoes. Because it's when the the heat of the Sahara Desert meets the cold. Yeah. See this here. So. Not you discovered. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Uh, let's see. We'll do this. All right. Um, do you remember what a clause is? Today, uh, okay. a group of words. Yeah, it's a group of words, right? A uh, clause. Yeah. Okay. Oh, now. Clause time. Yeah, time clause. It's a time clause. Porque. A clause is a group of words. Pero se acuerdan que yo les dije, acuérdense que es un group of words, porque van a ver time clause. Hoy vamos a ver if clause. Mm -hmm. Que significa 
Si una clause es a group of words, van a ser a group of words que siguen el if. If. Time clause is a group of words que siguen cuando se ha presentado un tiempo, like today, tomorrow, next week, next month. All that expresses a time. So in that case, that would be a time clause. This is what we're going to do. Today we're going to um, learn about if clause. Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes sir. All right. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job, consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured use for talking about possibilities Conditional, we use the word if. Here, I will explain that to you. So, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. So, when you say if, we say simple present. If I have, if I eat, if I drink. And the complement, correct? Okay. And the next sentence will have to be in the future. What happens, uh, Marvin? I'm sorry, uh, Luis Molina, are you there? Luis? Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. What happens if I drink? 20 beers. 20 beers. It's a big problem for you because if you have a hard car and maybe you can you can drive very well. Okay, good. No, but so but remember, so what we're doing here is if, look at it's a video. When we say if it's um here look. Talks about possibilities in the present or future. So let me see. Possibilities in the present or job, you won't have to. Look, look what it says here. Possible situation. Say simple present. The consequence will be the future. Okay, mm -hmm. so Luis Molina, imagine, okay, this, I don't do this, but imagine if I drink 20 beers. You'll have. Uh, you will get. You, uh, you, 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 you have a lot of will, coal in your in your body. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> so if, if I drink twenty beers, I'll have or I will have a lot of oh, alcohol I, I, I in my have, body. Uh -huh. And you will get drunk. Uh -huh. And I will get drunk. What happens? What happens if I drive drunk? You won't. You won't you drive will. the car. Or you will die. You will kill maybe. yourself. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe you will. Maybe it's a diputado. Magaña. Magaña. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sin vergüenza, no? Si, ahí están las pruebas. Diez días yeah, después, le dicen, oh, my God. It's all in El Salvador, man. Sí, solo aquí puede pasar eso. Y con orgullo, ahí están las pruebas. Nada pasó. Estaba bien. Hasta cólera da recordar eso. Yes. 
vieron la entrevista que es lo que él dijo de que sí. yo, yo creo mucho en Dios y, y Dios así quería las cosas él por algo hace las cosas ¿Really, que sí mismo sí, yes, it's like, ¿really? sí. Sí. qué cara yeah. para, para decir eso bueno yes. pero mire eso yo le diría a mi hijo son If you drive drunk, you will kill yourself. Uh -huh. Nada de que hay una probabilidad que vayas a chocar. No, de un solo lo voy a asustar. If you're stupid and drive drunk, you will kill yourself. If you drink one beer, you will drink ten. Please don't drink. Maybe in the, in the, the most case, when the person is very drunk, don't, don't die. Yeah. <laughs> die another person. <laughs> yeah, that's the sad part. I don't know about Innocent the, the people die. I don't think, right? Yeah. Leah. Hello, teacher. Hello, Leah. <clears throat> Leah, can you tell me what happens if, if I drink chuco with cold water? Cold water. Imagine in one in one hand I'm, I'm I'm drinking chuco, and in the other hand cold water. Uh, chuco. <laughs> mm. Okay. Oh, the vodka. If you cook, drink chuco, and after you drink water, maybe you uh, feel sick. You and, will feel sick. And you will be sick and you maybe have a okay. headache. You will have a, yeah, a headache, really? Okay. I imagine. You will get diarrhea, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. Nunca me ha pasado suerte porque tanto que me lo han metido en la cabeza, pero... Así es la gente. If you drink chuco and then cold water, you will have a, a chemical reaction. Not very good. <laughs> no, I listened with a uh, atol de lote. Oh, atol de lote. Well, the thing is, if you combine hot and cold. Mm -hmm. Atol de lote with water. Yes. <laughs> Gabriela. <This is> mystery. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gabriela, yes. you have children, correct? Two. Yes. One. One. Boy or girl? Girl. How old is she? Five years. Five years old. Okay. What do you tell her if you... A los niños le dice, if you don't clean, I will not give you a cookie. Mm, I maybe I say her um, if you don't clean, you will don't go to your um, grandmother. Okay, you will not go to your grandmother's. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Luis. Luis, you are married, oh. correct? Yeah, yes, of course. What happens if you don't... Imagine, okay. My... <laughs> A gear. <laughs> yeah, uh, imagine what happens if... If you look at another girl in front of your wife, like... <laughs> I will have a big problem. Yeah, of because, course. Yeah, a big problem. Because, yeah, that's disrespectful. Yes. Yeah, because it is, uh, is, is because uh, I, I, I don't have respect her. Exactly. Um, hello, Melvin, how are you? Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Melvin, what happens if a woman and a man, if they have sexual relations with no protection? Um, what happens to the woman, basically? 
work if they doesn't have protection they, if they get... don't use what sorry if they don't use protection if they don't use protection uh, they will, will have some i don't know they get sick they get sick or yeah. she will get pregnant a new baby mm -hmm. or they will become parents in nine months <laughs> yes it's true and so you know you tell that to your little brother to your son to your dog if you have sex with no protection you will get in trouble yes someone are you there We still can't hear you, Samuel. Can you hear me? Yes, from a very long distance, but yes, we can hear you. Okay, I don't know what happened. Let's see. Now? Yes. Okay. Manuel, what happens? If you if you drive and you don't have a license, oh, if I drive and I haven't licensed, I probably give a aguinaldo to police. Yes, I will probably <laughs> yes. Oh, the police are happy the aguinaldo's coming. How do you say Aguinaldo picture in, in, in Aguinaldo's picture? Christmas bonus? Christmas bonus, okay. Yes. Uh Sophie, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, Sophia, you have a boyfriend, right? Yes. Okay. Imagine if your boyfriend tells you tomorrow, Sophia, will you marry me? Mm -hmm. What will you say? No. <laughs> so I will say, no, thank you. I will say, no, thank you. Okay, good. Okay, very good. I, I like your honesty. Good. So, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. No, you know, that's a good question. So what happens if your boyfriend asks you to marry him? I will say no. Good. <laughs> All right. Very good. So you understand that? You understand? So yes. the possible situation, we say it in present, and the consequence, obviamente, the consequence will always be in the future, right? Okay. Yes. Consequence. Que está un perfecto ejemplo. Si no te bajas, te vas a caer. Ahí está, te vas a caer is future. You know, like to your kids. If you don't get down, you will fall and break your arm. ¿Ves? ¿Ves? ¡Bah! ¿Ves? ¿Qué te dije? Está bueno. Mental power. <laughs> Mental. Jedi mind. All right, so let's see the next example. What happens if you mix Coca-Cola with ice cream? Vaca negra. You will have a vaca negra. <laughs> Así se tendrá una vaca negra. You will have a... You have vaca negra. Pero, pero ya se dice Coke float. Coke black... <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not. It's not blackout. It's Coke, the Coca Cola Coke, float, uh -huh. the flotar Coke float. Ah, uh, Coke. All right. So let's see here. If you eat less junk food, what do you think will happen, uh, Samuel? Less food. Repeat, please. If you eat less junk food, what do you think will happen? 
junk food is a, a, a comida chatarra. Hamburger, pizza. It's the like best that. food, yes. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's the best food. Delicious food, okay. <laughs> if I eat junk food, probably my stomach will no, but you have the options here. Look, look at number okay. one here. But look, look at the screen. Okay. Um, so if, if you eat less, I'm junk sorry. Food, if no, it's okay. Let me see. Is if my computer broke, so I see in the oh, cell phone. Oh. I... So your options is if you if, if if you eat less junk food, you may lose weight. You might oh. feel healthier. You'll stay in shape without joining a gym you'll have more money to spend on yourself or you won't be able to stay awake in class. <laughs> you, you may lose weight. Me... I think it's between these two. Yeah, I think uh, you might feel healthier. Okay. The second. Let's do that. Next, if you, um, let me see here, Blanca. If you walk to work every day, what do you think is the probability? What's going to happen? Number two? Yes. If you walk... I'm sorry, you sound like an android. Mm -hmm. So number two, if you if you walk to work every day, what happens? Okay. I think we lost her. You 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 stay in shape with with no. Okay, um, imagine, la perdimos. We lost her? Oh, there she is. I think, I think you have a bad connection, Blanca. Blanca, imagine if you walk every day from your house to your work, it's good. It's good exercise. So what do you think could happen? If you walk every day, if you walk to work every day, you may lose weight, you might feel healthier, you'll stay in shape without joining a gym, which I think is... Marine. Okay, Blanca, I think it's this one. I don't know, I don't know, maybe you have a bad connection. What do you think, Les, is this one? Yes. Or think shape, you know, join. Yes, because if you walk to work every day, you will stay in shape because you walk, it's very good for health. Yes. yes. You know, um, you know that I ha I know this man, he he changes tires. Cambia mm -hmm. right. By Santanita. I don't know if you know Santanita. Mm -hmm. And he walks every day like to to los planes mm -hmm. but like kilometer seven something like that from santanita to that and this man he is maybe 65 or 70 years old man but he's in good condition He's in very good condition and he walks for exercise. Can you imagine from Santa Anita? Do you know Santa Anita? Imagine walking from Santa Anita to Los Planos. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. Every day. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Next, if you don't get enough sleep, what happens? 
everyone able to stay awake in class? You won't be able to stay awake in class, yes. And aunque uno duerma suficiente, you still won't be able to stay awake in class. <laughs> Remember. Okay, if you exercise, what happens? You may lose weight. If you don't get married, you may lose weight. You may you might feel better. Say the, say the money. You stay in shape. Man, you have one, more two, money three, to spend on yourself. Four. <laughs> you have money. You the have first four. Money. The first four are possible. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh oh, I got one wrong. So these two. So, if you eat less junk food, you might feel healthier, or you, or what? You, you may lose we, weight. So, entonces, this one would be you might feel healthier. Las dos están correctas, really. All right, cool. What would happen if you if you go outside in this moment and take a shower from La Pila? <laughs> it's sure you die. <laughs> the, the, wa the water is very cold. You will you, get, you will cold get sick. You. you will get you sick. Get pneumonia. You get pneumonia. Yes. You will get sick or you might get sick which is very, very probable. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you will get pneumonia. Yes, it's true. An advantage. <laughs> mm. for, for me, it's, it's a society to do that. It's, yes. For me too. Are you in love? Oh, all right, people, let's see. Are you in love? Sophia, since you are the only one that has a boyfriend because you're not married, are you in love? Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, that's good. You are in love, but you're not going to get married. Yeah, that's right. But you say, but you say, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And uh, yes, maybe. <laughs> wait, wait, ¿cuánto tienen de andar? Mm, poco. <laughs> Casi un año. <laughs> oh, well, no, one year. Is, one year is okay. Because usually when, when you're young, the first month, do you love him? Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. Six months, do you love him? Yes. One year, ahí empieza lo. Do you love him? Yes. Lo bonito. <laughs> yeah, that's when you're sure if you do or not. So that's yeah. good. Yeah. I I love my wife. I still I'm I'm still in love with my wife. You're still the one I love. Ooh. He okay. is near, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. No. Near. No, she's <laughs> she's asleep already. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so listen, you think you're falling in love. You're really attracted to a certain person. But this happened before. And it was just a crush. How can you tell if it's real this time? Here's what readers said. Do you know what is a crush? Crush. Action? Like an impact? Crush. Did you ever have a crush on a teacher? I do. When, when in second grade. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Cómo se llama eso? I, ha, I you know when you like your teacher, I have a crush on my teacher. It uh when Platonito. I Platonito. Platonito? No. Yes, okay. No, no, it's 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 como como decir, o sea, no sé cómo explicarlo. I don't know how to explain. Un, un, emo 
<laughs> no, when when you when you have a crush is when you like somebody. Yes. But 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 it's a little more than like, so maybe you're confused. Because you don't know if it's like or love. <laughs> Yeah, so it's when, only like no with one, yeah, like do you remember do you remember do you remember in your high school or university days? Y a veces puede ser algo platónico o prohibido también, Lia. Porque you know sometimes a todo no ha pasado. Did you ever have a crush on your friend's girlfriend or your friend's boyfriend? Nunca se enamoraron del ami del novio o novia de un amigo o amiga. No. <laughs> o le gustaba, más bien. Really no. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ahora, hay gente que le pasa, like oh my god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You happen. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> no really, I, I, no, I don't think so. When the person get married, like another. Saben cuál es la típica aquí? Más que todo, no sé de las mujeres, pero de los hombres. Mujeres, si ustedes tienen un mejor amigo. Yes. He's not your best friend. Yes. Él está enamorado de usted. He has a crush on you. <laughs> I fall in love than my best friend. Oh, When really? I was very young, yes. But uh, he, right now, he's my friend oh, uh, today, oh, todavía. Okay. But when the time, he say me, my dear friend, I gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gay. I'm gay. Yes. Oh, okay. And I, he introduced me, I, uh, his boy, his boyfriend. Oh, really? So you introduce him, okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so in this case, Leah, Leah, in this case, you don't say I, I fell in love with my friend, with my best friend. You say I had a crush. Ah, okay. I have a crush. I had a crush on my. I have a crush. On my best friend. Mm -hmm. on my best friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So listen. So this is how you can tell the difference between crush or if you're falling in love. If you're falling in love, you will find yourself talking to or tef, uh, telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. If you're falling in love, you'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a you know, a friend begins, you interrupt with, my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. When you're falling in love, you might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asks me to tell her about football, I know she's falling in love, said a TV sports announcer. Eso es verdad. Eso es. La probabilidad de lluvia aumenta a un 90%. Diana Marías, noticias. Wow. I remember, I remember, um, I remember I had a girlfriend and she was very into vegetarian food. And I hated vegetarian food and and um, suddenly I started liking it because of her. And I remember that my girlfriend, when I met her, she would only she would only listen to Arjona, Franco de Vita, and all that, you know. Christian Castro. But with me, after she started listening to Metallica, 
Radiohead, Guns N' Roses. Y le gustaba. Like, oh, hey, she loves me. So listen, it says, okay, you've fallen in love, but falling in love is one thing and staying in love is another. How can you tell as time passes that you're still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not like to talk as much about the person you're in love with. You might not call him or her so often. But this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. You will find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit, it, to admit certain changes. Afraid to admit certain certain things, I'm sorry, about yourself. But now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her or accept you as you are. Mm. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. In my opinion, if you're happy in this moment with your partner, you're in love. Yeah, I think I think I am still in love with my wife because I'm very happy with my family. Me too. Yeah, good. Yeah, I love my family. I love my wife. I love my son. I love that my wife is the mother of my son. So. Hmm. So uh, <laughs> yeah, so I think I think um that's what love is. All right. Staying is is staying if love is more real than falling in love. Falling in yeah. love is uh is yeah. more uh familiar, I think right? It's true. I think I think um I think Falling in love is easy. Staying in love is difficult. Staying in love yes. is in the family. For example, when you need get married, and it's necessary to pay uh, bills, pay the house, and pay all expenses, all boys. It's true. Yeah, staying in love. This is this is the the real love of the that's family. the real that's the real test mm -hmm. yes okay let's see the video now let's see what it says after what you have read can you tell us which one is more difficult for you falling in love or staying in love share your opinion on our discussion box so uh, marvin was saying that um Staying in love is more difficult, it's true. Yes, it's difficult. It's difficult. Yeah, that, that I think. You, when you're living with uh, the one person and you meet all day, every day, every day, and you discover uh, his personality, 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 personality. Yes. Yeah. You understand if you love or not love. And when you love with all these things, the uh, virtudes and the uh, defectos, so you can say, I stay love. Yes, it's true. It's it's, you're absolutely correct. I have a 26 years old that married, and I feel like I stay in love. You have been married 26 years? Yes. Wow, that's a long time. Yes. Oh, that's good. Nice. Cool. And I and I look at my husband and I like it. I, I think he's very handsome. 
I like it. I like it. Hey, that's, that's very nice. <laughs> yeah, that's very nice. You know, one time, one time my wife, she said, Venía a traerme aquí estoy en el super. Okay, good. So I remember I went in, in, in the supermarket and um, there was this woman standing by, um, she was standing in front of uh, Mr. Donut and I said, wow, nice. She was very beautiful, the woman. Pero me pongo a ver si no está mi esposa viendo me. Porque quería ver esa mujer, y, you know, like, nice. And when the woman turns around, it was my wife. Y when she looks at me, she, ¿por qué no está viendo así? Yo, no, nada, sweet, vámonos. Oh, <laughs> okay, te fue infiel con vos misma. <laughs> Yeah. So that then, then I think, and then that I said, okay, yeah. So I, I still love my wife. <laughs> yeah. Entonces con la chica que estaba chequeando era mi esposa. Can you imagine that? Okay, let me see. Next. Okay, good. Let's see here. Okay, Miranki, it says, in this class, you will listen to our conversation about jobs and job requirements, where gerunds and short responses, responses will be used. Do you know what is job requirements? No. Okay, for example, um, they're looking for the company needs 20 people right now. So that's a job. Yes, but the requirements are the people speak French, English, and German. You know, se queda, ah, pues no. Requirements is requisitos. Oh, okay, thank you. All right. So let's listen to the conversation. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you an assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. So what was the requirement? The, if he, if another he language. spoke another language. Yes. Listen, by the end of this class, you will learn how to make statements with gerunds. 
giving short responses. Mm. Remember, gerunds are ing, remember. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They are good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problem. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject, or noun or pronoun, after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject, and when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. Before we go, we want you to agree on the following statements. I love hiking. I'm not good at swimming. As always, respond on our discussion box. Okay. Um, what is something you like drinking? Samuel? Yes? Hi, Samuel. What is something you like drinking? Uh, repeat, please. Please, sorry. Yes. Can you tell me something you like drinking? Oh, um, I prefer beer. Okay, but I want you to tell me I like drinking beer. I, I use the oh. gerund. Okay. I like drinking beer. Okay, good.
Okay, I like drinking beer. Okay, good, good. Let me see, let me see. Uh, Gabriela, what is something you like doing? I like to read. I like reading. I, I Okay, I want everybody to give me the gerund, okay? okay. After the verb is... Uh, the. I like reading. Good. Luis, what is something you hate? I I hate eating uh, soup uh, white beans. Really? Yes. Oh, that was my lunch today. <laughs> but why white beans? You know, no white beans. beans. Oh man, that's white so good <laughs> with pork. <laughs> okay. I don't like. Okay, I understand. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Hey, Lou, she's there. Lou, can you tell me something you like doing with your friends? I like uh, go to the, I know, I like going mm -hmm. to the theater uh, with my friends. Very good. Is the theater still open? Yeah, I think so. All right. Okay, um, li listen to this. It says knowledge check. It says instructions. Read the following phrases and use what is in the brackets in order to make the statements. For example, follow the example. I enjoy with time spent friends my. So I enjoy spending time with my friends. Number one, it says, I don't like by commute bus. <coughs> what do you think is the right? I don't like commuting. Commuting by bus. By bus. What Good. means commuting? Traveling. Traveling, commitment, committing to, okay. I am not very good at foreign language learn. Learning foreign language. Languages. Languages. Good. I'm good at problems solve other people's. I'm good at solving other people's other problems. People problems. Yeah. Everybody's good at solving other people's problems. Look at the number three teacher. Say, I am, I am God, no good. Yes, and look at people's. And um, people missing e. e. Yes. But when you write, I don't know. It's ah, you see it being picky. Incorrect. Being picky. Yes. Uh -huh. This would be the answer. Um, I am good at solving other people's problems. Number four, hate uh, or teamwork with groups. I hate working with group or team, with a group or team. I can't stand, guess I can't stand, do you remember? Comprender? Mm, not really. I, no soportar. For example, I can't stand reggaeton music. So do I. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, so do I. I can't stand. I can't stand telenovelas. I can't stand watching telenovelas. They are horrible. Que actuación más terrible. So popper. Yes, so popper. Mírame, Eliseo. <laughs> eres de mi maldito. Oh my God, it's so... 
Okay, number six. I am interested in better my manage time. I am interested in managing my time better. I don't mind cell phone talk on. I don't mind talking on a cell phone. I enjoy out every day, lunch, eat. I enjoy eating lunch every day. Listen, can you tell me what is something you enjoy doing when you are alone? Sleep. But tell me, I enjoy sleeping. I enjoy sleeping. When you're alone, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I enjoy doing nothing. I I enjoy like not doing anything when I am alone. It's cool. Okay. All right, class. Um let me see. In this class, you will practice. Entienden eso, como usar el gerund, right? Antes de seguir, ent entendemos como el gerund. Um, yes. Edwin, what, what do you like drinking with your coffee? Uh, I like drinking uh, with my coffee cookies. Good. You know what? Mm -hmm. Esto, no sé si alguien, conocen a alguien que haga esto. I like drinking crackers with my cookies. I like, <laughs> I, I like eating crackers with my coffee. Galletas saladas. With my coffee. It's good. <laughs> yeah, you know like the, those crackers, like... <clears throat> Los que dan con los cocteles, galletas saladas. Yeah. 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 I, I like that with coffee. If you don't have a sweet. I mean, yeah. I I, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, it's true. It's true. I like putting ketchup on my tamales. Mm hmm I like putting ketchup on my tamales. That's good too. Ketchup, ketchup. Ketchup, yes. Yeah. So, tomato. In San Miguel, do people eat uh, pupusa with ketchup? Yeah, in San Miguel, people like eating pupusas with. Um, it's not with ketchup. It's with mayonnaise. With mayonnaise, yes. Ah, okay. okay. This. Uh, it's good. It's good. I like it. Yeah. It's like it's like a scavenger or something. Yeah. I like it. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. The first time or the second, you look fail. But then it's really, really good. I'm sorry? But you know what's strange? They put... Salsa negra, no salsa roja. You know, like in, in San Salvador, we eat pupusas with curtido and, and tomato sauce. In San Miguel, is with mayonnaise curtido and black sauce. And that but is it's strange. strange. <laughs> but it's, it's strange. not, yes, but it's not like Lia Perdings. It's like a black ketchup. It is similar to crazy elotes, elotes crazy. Yes, yes, it's what they put on the, yeah, elotes. <laughs> that, that's what they put. Yes. Okay, class, then I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right, okay. and have a good night. Thank okay. you very much. I'll Bye. see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a nice night. Everybody. You do. Thank you, Mr. Molina. Bye-bye.